Jai, all glories to Sri Sri Guru and Gauranga, all glories to Christ. Today we are celebrating our glorious Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and his Shiksha Guru and dear friend Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, our Gornitananda Prabhu, our illustrious lineage of enlightened masters who bring us to the stage of pure devotion and love for God. And we are also celebrating Lord Christ who rose on this day. This is the day of his resurrection. And so we are celebrating Easter Sunday here in South Carolina. We are also inaugurating our first Serve Love Bhaktabandhav Nam Hatta Center in America. Right, we have one in Vancouver. We have a few centers for Nam Hatta in Vancouver in Canada and our mission is spreading. We have our ashram just started in Nepal. Beautiful ashram in Pokhara, Nepal at the base of the Himalayas. The base of the three tallest, three of the tallest mountains in the world. We have an ashram right there at the base in Pokhara. It's the large tourist, it's actually the tourist capital of Nepal. So that ashram was recently inaugurated and we have our ashram in Vrindhavan, Bhaktivandav Dham, Sri Radhe Kunj. And we have our ashram that we are coming from now, Bhaktivandav of New York. So we are serving the line of our beloved Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, especially connecting to Sri Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and all our enlightened masters. So we are very happy to be here today. We are here in beautiful South Carolina. My first time visiting South Carolina. And so we're very happy to be here. We are in the home of Vrinda Devi Dasi, and she is using this beautiful space to worship Sri Radha Krishna. Gornitai, Lord Jagannath is here. So God is one and God is love. And love has two forms, Radha and Krishna, the lover and beloved. And love is their mood, love is their nature. So Radha and Krishna are the supreme absolute truth and their relationship is based on pure love and all souls are invited into that relationship of divine love. That is the message of our Lord Chaitanya. And he said, we can enter that path of divine love by chanting this Maha Mantra together. We can chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. One more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we are very happy to be here. Today we're going to share with you the mood of our Gurudev, the mood of Lord Nityananda, how we are distributing this message. What is the message of Lord Chaitanya? And how is this message of Lord Chaitanya distributed by Lord Nityananda, his brother? Lord Nityananda is Guru Tattva, the spiritual master. This is Lord Nityananda and his name means eternal bliss. Nitya, eternal, Ananda, bliss. Our mission statement is to serve people on their journey from wisdom to spiritual experience, to taste the bliss of pure love of God. What is that bliss of pure love of God that is given in the line of Lord Nityananda? It is eternal bliss. And it is the bliss of the love of Sri Radha for Krishna, the love of the eternal Supreme Goddess for the eternal Lord Sri Krishna, that is eternal bliss. So it is that eternal bliss that is distributed by Lord Nityananda. And that eternal bliss is the love of Sri Radha for Krishna. That is that eternal bliss. And Lord Nityananda carries that bliss in his heart and distributes it to everyone in the world. And that bliss of Sri Radha for Krishna manifests in many forms in all the associates of Krishna in Vrindavan. They all carry that eternal bliss in their heart. Krishna's parents, Madhya Yashoda, Nanda Baba, Krishna's friends, the cowherd boys, the elders, the gopas and gopis, not only them, the cows, the peacocks, the deer, not only them, the trees, the rivers, the mountains, everything in Vrindavan is actually composed of this eternal bliss. You understand? Everything in Vrindavan is made of eternal bliss. That is its nature. Nityananda, 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 eternal bliss. That's why Lord Chaitanya, his brother is named Nityananda, eternal bliss. Lord Chaitanya gives spiritual consciousness. His name, Chaitanya means consciousness. And what kind of consciousness? Krishna consciousness. Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna consciousness. So Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada established his international society of 
Krishna consciousness, meaning Krishna Chaitanya. Our Gurudev would say this is the same teaching and message of his Guru, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada. Chaitanya mission, Chaitanya Mat, the mission of Lord Chaitanya's teachings. This is Krishna consciousness. And who distributed this mission, this message? Nityananda, eternal bliss personified, the eternal brother of the Lord. And what is that bliss? That eternal bliss is the pure love of Sri Radha, the eternal supreme goddess, for her beloved Sri Krishna, the Supreme Lord, her very nature is eternal bliss. Lord Nityananda is distributing that eternal bliss. And it is her eternal bliss that manifests in all of their associates, in the river, in the tree, in the sun, and everything in the spiritual world is made of that eternal bliss. And our soul, our soul's nature is consciousness, eternality, and bliss. So our nature is Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Prabhu, servant. Krishna Chaitanya is eternal consciousness, Lord Nityananda is eternal bliss. So we are Sat, eternally existing, Chit, consciousness, and Ananda, bliss. Yes, Rinda? We are eternal consciousness and bliss. So we are eternal, but we are consciousness and bliss. That means the essence of Sri Krishna, the essence of Sri Radha, together in our eternal soul. And our nature is to realize our relationship of pure love, and this gives us an unending spring of bliss bubbling up in our heart at every moment of our lives. This is our nature. This is the conclusion of the journey of this human adventure, to come to the stage of relishing that taste of pure bliss. And what is that bliss? It is the pure love that you experience as a soul in your relationship with God. And that is the desire, that is your service to Sri Radha. If you want to serve Sri Radha, realize your relationship of love for God and please God, have an endeavor to please God by the expression of your love. That is service to Sri Radha. Sri Radha is most pleased, the goddess is most pleased when we please God by our loving endeavors. That is called bhakti, devotion. And we are also doing that here in our practice here. Does it make sense? Why are we here speaking about Krishna? This is service to Sri Radha. We are serving Srimati Radhika by speaking about Krishna. Lord Nityananda is serving Srimati Radhika by going everywhere and speaking about Krishna. He is serving Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya is serving Srimati Radhika, trying to understand her mood and her love. And all souls, by pleasing Krishna, by coming closer to Krishna, they are pleasing Srimati Radhika. In our scripture, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, by chanting the name of Krishna, Sri Radha is pleased. And to please the object of your devotion is called bhakti. So we are pleasing the object of our devotion, Sri Radha, by chanting the name Krishna. People say, you're chanting Krishna, Krishna. How are you saying you're a devotee of Radharani? Because this is pleasing to her. So Lord Chaitanya traveled the land and said what? Krishna, 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 He. Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, He. Then what did he say? Krishna, 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 Rakshamam. Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Pahimam. With the mood of Srimati Radhika, he carried this essence in his heart, this eternal bliss in his heart and distributed everywhere the beauty of the holy names. Not only the holy name, Brinda, <clears throat> but with the love of Srimati Radhika and all the residents of Vrindavan. We are not just distributing the holy names. Golokera premadhana harinama sankirtana. Golokera premadhan, the wealth of eternal love in the hearts of the residents of Vrindavan is infused in the holy name. And Lord Chaitanya says, all of the potency of the Supreme Lord himself has been invested in these holy names. Nam nam akari bahuda nijasarvasaktis. All of my power is in these names, all of it. And not only all of my power, but my mercy potency herself. Lord Chaitanya told his mercy potency, Karuna Shakti, the goddess of mercy. And he said, I'm requesting you to go everywhere and to not discriminate against anyone. You do not have to ask my permission to give anyone mercy. Indeed, you should give my mercy to everyone. And that mercy incarnation of Lord Chaitanya is in the heart of Lord Nityananda who distributed this love everywhere. 
Not in a river, in a flood. Right? In a river, you have to go to the river and bathe. But in a flood, you don't have to do anything. We were just yesterday in an area. We were in, so I'll tell you our little backstory. But we came the last two days from our ashram in Hudson Valley, New York. And from there, we preached in New York City and the different surrounding towns. And then we came through Philadelphia, spreading the holy name, through Washington, D.C., speaking some truth to power, speaking about the glory of the holy name. Then we came through Richmond, Virginia on our way. We went through the Research Triangle, Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill. Then we came through yesterday on our way through Char Charlotte, down here to, to this beautiful town near Columbia and Greenville, South Carolina, where we are starting our Bhaktabandha Serve Love Namhatta Center. Namhatta Center means every home should be a temple. Every home should be a temple. Your body is your soul's home, and that is a temple. When you become a devotee of Krishna, your body is your soul's home, and that is a temple. Therefore, we wear tilak to mark it as a temple of Krishna. So our home naturally should also be a temple. That's why you have Radha Krishna Didis here, Gornitai Didis here, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra here. So your home is also a temple and your body is a temple and your soul and the super soul, the super soul is the deity of that temple and you, the soul are the devotee or the worshiper of the Lord. So in your body, your soul, as a soul, you are the worshiper, the devotee and the super soul is the deity in the temple of your heart. And that deity in the temple of your heart, you manifest into your home, which is the home of your body. And your body is the home of your soul. And so the body is a temple and the home is also a temple. So this is our mission. This is Lord Chaitanya's mission, the Swami Prabhupada's mission. Every home of every devotee is a temple. Otherwise, what kind of devotee are we? If our home is not a temple, how are we a devotee? If our bodies are not a temple, how are we a devotee? So, the point is that Lord Nityananda spread this love everywhere, in every home. As a flood, when we were looking, you know, we were doing some programs in the main street, uh, uh, not programs, but we were, you know, doing some spiritual research, spreading the holy names, talking with people. And someone said, oh, this is a floodplain. Not a floodplain. They said, oh, there was a flood some years ago in some of this area. That's why this area is very cheap. Right? But the idea is that Lord Nityananda's mercy is a flood. Lord Chaitanya said, Oh, my mercy potency go everywhere without my permission. Generally, a master wants control over the servants, what they can do, what they can't do. Yes? Do this, don't do this. And check back in on me and, you know, ask if I like it or not. But Lord Chaitanya said to his mercy potency, the goddess of mercy said, I specifically instruct you to not ask my permission to give anyone your mercy. And I am requesting you not to be a river, to be a flood. But someone has to carry that flood. And Lord Chaitanya chose Lord Nityananda to do that. So what did he say to Lord Nityananda? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we talked about this just the other day after Gaur Purnima. Right? What happened? Lord Chaitanya was in this mood of explosive devotion. Yes? That love of God was exploding in his heart after he came back from Gaia and all the devotees were becoming ecstatic. And for 21 hours, he was exhibiting his ecstasies. And then Lord Nityananda came and he said, now our mission can begin in earnest. And he said, oh, Lord Nityananda, suno suno Nityananda, oh Nityananda, hear me, hear me. Lord Nityananda came and he said, oh, along with you, who? Not alone. Suno Suno Nityananda, Suno Haridas. Who is Haridas? Golokera Premadan Harinam Sankirtan. The pure love of the eternal world, Vrindavan, has come into this world. The eternal spiritual world, the pure love of that world, that wealth, has come into this world as Lord Chaitanya, as Lord Nityananda and their associates, but it is infused in the holy name. And therefore, everyone is distributing this holy name. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya selected two first preachers. Lord Nityananda, who carries this eternal bliss, therefore he's a madman. Cannot be regulated, cannot be controlled. He's a madman because he is simply dancing 
to the melody of eternal bliss. You understand? When that bliss is arising in your heart, you cannot say, someone will tell you, no, go left. You say, bliss is telling me to go right. My heart, the song of love for God in my heart is telling me to go right. So what is right? Left or right? Both are right. Because it's a flood, not a river. You understand? River has some logical course. Flood is for everyone. Today, we're also celebrating Christ. So we're going to hear about his resurrection, the resurrection part of John 19 from 1942 forward. We're going to hear about this. We'll read about it in a little bit. Christianity is not for one town or village. Christianity is not just for Jerusalem or for Israel. Christianity is a flood of love for God spreading throughout the world. Lord Chaitanya's mission is a flood of mercy. It is a flood of love. Our Gurudev said, I've come to break the walls so that this flood can go everywhere. This is the message of Lord Nityananda. He said, Abhada Koruna Sindhu Katiya Mohan. I have come to break the dams so that this flood of mercy, Karuna Sindhu, Gare Gare Bule Prem, can flood every home. Not just one home. Gare Gare Bule Prem. This is Lord Nitananda's mood. You understand? Gare Gare Bule Prem, Ami Aravan, in every home. Gare Gare. This is the instruction of Lord Chaitanya. Suna Suna Nityananda, O Nityananda, eternal bliss, O Haridas Thakur. What is, who is Haridas Thakur? The Acharya, the preceptor of the holy name. Nam Acharya Haridas Thakur. These two personalities, he called them and said, distribute this mercy as a flood of nectar. What did he do? Adha Mapatita Jiver Dhwari Dhwari Giyya. Harinama Maha Mantra Dhichena Bhilaya Adhama Patita Jiver Dhware Dhware Giya To the homes of the fallen, the destitute, the suffering conditioned souls. What does it mean to be Adham? Not to be sinful. Adhama Patita Jiver The homes of those who are Adham, fallen, Patita, more fallen. Dware dware gia, he went door to door. Dware dware. Not just gare gare, dware dware. Home to home, door to door. This is Nam Hatta. You understand? Nam Hatta means he opened the marketplace of the holy name. And he said, you can purchase divine love simply by your desire for it. That's it. And your faith. So Lord Nityananda went to every home. What does it mean to be fallen? Not to be sinful. To be fallen means we are in this material world. Lord Chaitanya said, I am fallen in this material existence. So we are all fallen in this material existence. Anyone raise your hand if you're fallen in this material existence. I am fallen in this material existence. I am Patita. I am fallen. But that is my qualification. My qualification is that I am fallen. I am qualified. Arivo. Therefore, Lord Nityananda came. Adhama patita jivir dhware dhware giya. What did he say? Harinama maha mantra dhichena bhilaya. Oh, everyone. Please, please take, you know, we are going to read from the resurrection of Christ in English, but originally it was in Greek, Aramaic, Hebrew, these languages. Now it's in English. So we speak the teaching of Lord Chaitanya with Bengali, with Sanskrit. So, Harina Mahamantra, the names of God, especially this Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This Mahamantra, he is distributing to everyone. Jare dheke tare kahe. He's not only going door to door, home to home, to whoever he meets. Jare dheke tare kahe dhante trinakori with humility, not with pride. Oh, sinful souls, repent. No. 
would hold straw in his teeth. This is a symbol of great humility in Indian culture. Like I am an animal, like a simple grazing animal, like a donkey, like a horse or a cow. He would put a straw in his teeth, fold his hands. And he said, not only did he put straw in his teeth, he said, I will become your slave. You will purchase me like a slave if you one time chant the name Gaur Hari. Do you see his mood? Eternal bliss personified Lord Nityananda is traveling on the order of Lord Chaitanya, the Supreme Lord. Chaitanya means the Supreme Conscious Being, the original Lord. He has appeared relishing the love of his eternal beloved Sri Radha and he engaged his brother, that means his expansion, the servitor Godhead. Lord Nityananda is the servitor Godhead. Lord Chaitanya is Godhead himself. And his first expansion, the servitor God, had he engaged him, distribute this eternal bliss to the world. Everyone is thirsty for this. Everyone is starving for this. Everyone is in the desert of material life, dry and scorched by the heat of lust, greed, anger, madness. But you should quench their thirst with his eternal bliss, pure love and devotion. How? With great humility. Our Guru and our, our mentor in India, he said, we should open Namhata centers everywhere in the mood of Lord Nityananda. What is that mood of Lord Nityananda? He said, great humility. He said, you should have great respect for all juniors. This was just the last few days I've been discussing. Why? Because people have doubt. What should we do? We should preach or not preach. We are qualified or not qualified. Everyone is qualified because no one is qualified for this mercy, this mercy, this pure love of the eternal realm of Vrindavan, invested in the holy names. We're all qualified because none of us are qualified. This pure love is so great. But he said, you, to, how do you purchase it? How do you purchase pure love? Our mission statement is to help you taste the bliss of pure love. What is that Nityananda? What is the bliss of pure love for Krishna? What is that Prem Dhan? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, without that wealth of Prem, pure love, your life is useless. Lord Chaitanya said, Prem Dana Veena, without the wealth of pure love, Vyarta Daridra Jivan, you're passing your life as a destitute beggar. So what is that wealth of pure love for Krishna? That is the heart and the mood and the devotion of the soul when it's fully blossomed in divine consciousness. It's naturally, spontaneously arising at every moment. And it's expressing itself through varieties of emotions and moods and activities of love and service. So, Lord Chaitanya said, distribute this to everyone with humility. Our mentor in India said, with humility, not with pride. Holding a straw between your teeth, please. And Lord Nityananda said, my Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, distribute Krishna's names. But what am I first teaching you? Ek bada bol hari, gora bholo ek bada gora hari. Hari Bholo, today we'll go out in the streets and do this kirtan. Ek bada gaur Hari, Hari Bholo, one time, please chant the name Gaur Hari. Oh, golden Lord, golden, effulgent Lord. One time and you will purchase me. I will do whatever you ask. I will become your slave and servant. Amare kini aloho Bholo Gaur Hari. This is the mood of Lord Nityananda. You see, when this pure bliss, this pure love, devotion awakens in your heart, you don't worry any, about anything anymore. There's nothing to worry about. You can suspend all your figuring it out brain and your worrying about things brain and all these different things and you become a puppet dancing to the message, to the mood of divine love. Your external actions are all simply the expression of pure love and bliss. And your heart and soul is always with your beloved, internally. And so Lord Nityananda says, Amare kini aloho bolo gorahari, you will purchase me. Simply if you once chant gorahari. Then what happened? 
एत भोली नित्यानंद भूमि घड़ी जाए saying like this lord nitinanda would fall to the ground you understand please meditate on this scene lord chaitanya radha krishna is incarnation the dual incarnation of radha krishna lord chaitanya in one form he came and he said lord nitinanda come for 21 hours he ecstatic he showed his ecstasy of love of god and then he called lord nitinanda please come oh nitinanda and oh acharya of the holy name haridas please come and do what go house to house door to door not only house to house door to door in every market in every town they went to the marketplace and met jagai madai the greatest dacoits in the town greatest thieves and murderers in the town and they converted them to pure love of god and they were dancing in the streets after 2 days after 2 days the worst people in that whole town were converted to love of god and began to crowd in ecstasy hari bolo hari bolo hari bolo we see these paintings on your wall lord chaitanya dancing in the street with lord nitananda you see this painting this is advaita charya shrivas pandit incarnation of narad muni advaita charya incarnation of sada shiva mahavishnu gadadhar pandit incarnation of radharani lord nitananda incarnation of krishna's balar balaram lord chaitanya krishna himself with the mood of shirada they are dancing surrounded by thousands and thousands of people we just had our gor purnima celebration and in india millions of people are dancing and singing the names of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and radha and krishna So Lord Chaitanya sent Nityananda Prabhu on this mission. Therefore we take shelter of Lord Nityananda. So he said, "Oh, adhama patita jivar dhware dhware giya hari na mahamantra dichena bilahi ke." He went home to home, door to door, in the market, everywhere. As a flood, not as a river. You understand? It's not regulated. No rules and regulation. no big banks no big walls you make it a river then all of a sudden you're going to have guards on the banks of the river telling you who's qualified to bathe or not you're not qualified to take bath in the river mahaprabhu's mercy or you have to pay us this fee to take bath in the river mahaprabhu's mercy so no it's a flood every town and village therefore mahaprabhu said prithiviti ache jatanagara adigram sarvatra prachar hoy be morana in every town and village this is a flood not a river in every town and village and that is going on chila bhakti ran swami propad his mission spreading this throughout the whole world therefore very foolish people very proud oh but this oh but that oh but this hari naam the mercy of lord nitananda distribution of the holy names is going on everywhere in the line of bhakti ran swami propad the line of bhakti santa propad and our gurudev also distributing the message of pure devotion especially the mood of the residents of Vrindavan and how to attain that abode but anyone anywhere distributing the holy names they are param shrestha supremely worshipable param shrestha the most exalted human beings on this planet anyone anywhere distributing the names of god and helping people develop love of god they are param shrestha most exalted human beings Therefore you should have this mood oh I will offer myself at your lotus feet. How can I serve you? Oh dear devotees of the Lord. And yet instead criticism. So our mentor in India were asking him. So people want to open namhatta centers in their homes. What is the rules and regulation? Okay? You want to know? What are the rules and regulations for a namhatta center? Don't criticize other devotees. One. Anyone who is distributing the names of Krishna they are glorious why following the line of haridas thakur the acharya of the name maybe we can't chant 3 lakhs harinam every day that means 300000 names maybe we can't do that but haridas thakur both chanted and he distributed the chanting so swami propan in his line said everyone chant 16 rounds <clears throat> in the morning time we wake up we chant 16 rounds minimum right and then we distribute I know in temple days people would chant 3 4 hours and then 8 hours 10 hours Vishnu Jan Swami 8 10 hours in the streets chanting the holy names How many rounds did they done chanting So this is Haridas Thakur Apane achari kare na kare prachar prachar kare na kare na kare achar achar prachar karo ho tumi sarva guru tumi jagat er are you are the best human being and you are the guru of everyone 
Why? Because you are chanting the holy names yourself and you are distributing the chanting of the holy name. These holy names have the wealth of divine love invested within them. They can, they not just liberate you, but they bestow the wealth of divine love. Golokera Prem Dan Harinama Sankirtan Rati Najan Milo Kenathai. Alas, I have no affection attachment to chanting these holy names. All that love of the Supreme World of Sri Krishna and his associates is invested in these holy names. So everyone distributing these, they are Jagatera Arya, the greatest human beings that we honor and serve. Hare Krishna, I'm okay. So Finished? Ready for more? We still have to continue. We have to hear about the resurrection of Christ, Easter Sunday, right? So then Lord Nityananda, what? Everyone chant, Hari Bolo, Hari Bolo, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But he thought, oh, without the mercy of Gauranga, how will they develop love for the Mahamantra? They must take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this age. Guru Nityananda said they must take shelter of Lord Chaitanya. So I want you to meditate on this scene. Our Bhakti Thakur is describing the preaching of Lord Nityananda. You understand? Okay. A little bit of, we have a little bit of time. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the seventh Goswami, who again brought the Bhakti Bhagirat to this world. He is describing the preaching of Lord Chaitanya. And he said, that Lord Nityananda would go house to house, door to door in the markets, and he would say, please, one time chant the name Gauranga. Like the disciples of Christ, they would go and they would beg people, please understand the glory of Christ, the mercy of Christ, that he came to save everyone and chant his name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name, not just God's name, but God's messenger's name. Guru Tattva. Lord Nityananda said, unless they take shelter of you, Lord Nityananda, he was instructed by Lord Chaitanya to do Vyas Puja. That means worship of the Guru. Lord Chaitanya said, let's have Vyas Puja. We should celebrate the Guru and the Vyas line. That means the giver of the Veda, the giver of spiritual knowledge. And he said, we'll choose a day. And they chose a person to host. This is Shivas Pandit, his house. They hosted this festival. And Lord Chaitanya was not arriving. You know, Lord Nityananda was going to do this festival, worship Vyasdev, worship the gurus. But Lord Nityananda was waiting. He had a garland and he was waiting to start the worship. And everyone was saying, Lord Nityananda, the time is passing. You should start. Now it's 12 o'clock. You should do the aarti. You should do the worship. Why aren't you waiting? And Lord Nityananda is eternal bliss. You cannot control eternal bliss. You tell eternal bliss to do left, it will go right. It's a flood, not a river. Do this, they'll say, you know, it, you cannot control pure love. Pure love is its own master. Understand? Pure love is its own master. Therefore, Krishna says, Radharani's pure love is my master. God himself says, I am controlled by the pure love of my devotees. So even God is controlled by pure love. Krishna says, Radhikara Prema Guru, the love of Srimati Radhika is my guru, my teacher. And I am her dancing disciple. Ami Shishyanat, I am her dancing disciple. I am always dancing to the melody of her divine love. So how are you going to control Lord Nityananda? He was just saying, Haribo, Haribo, doing Kirtan. Everyone was saying the program's getting late. Please start. Said no. Program can't start until the right time. What is the right time? Finally, Lord Chaitanya appeared. Lord Nityananda offered him the garland. Offered him obeisance. Everyone offered him obeisance. They worshiped Lord Chaitanya. He said, this is Vyas Puja. So going everywhere, what did Lord Nityananda say? Amare kini aloho bholo gorahari. You will purchase me by one chime chanting gorahari bo. That is not past tense instruction. Everyone watching now, please, I beg of you, chant gorahari bolo. Okay, in your homes, Lord Nityananda's message is reaching you in your home. So one time we should chant, Bolo Gaur Hari Bolo. Gaur Hari, Hari Bolo, Bolo Gaur Hari, Hari Bolo. Lord Nityananda is requesting everyone himself, he would weep and cry out, 
He would walk in the villages in the morning and he would say, and he would chant in the early morning and in the daytime and in the evening time, he would chant, Bhaja Goranga, Kaha Goranga, Laha Gorangir Namure, Je Jana Goranga Bhaje, Sehoya Mar Pranare. He would say in Bengali, town to town, village to village, he would say, Worship Goranga, chant the name of Goranga. Laho Goranga Nama, take the name of Goranga. People are saying only worship Lord Nityananda. If you want to worship Lord Nityananda, chant Goranga. If you want to worship Lord Nityananda, chant Goranga. If you want to worship Lord Nityananda, chant Goranga. Goranga. This is how you please Lord Nityananda, and pleasing the object of your devotion is real devotion and his service. Pleasing the object of your devotion is called service. If it's not pleasing, it's not bhakti. So if you want to worship Lord Nityananda, chant Goranga. So everyone, one time, three, two, one, Goranga. Okay. In the morning time, in the midday, in the evening time, Lord Nityananda would wander like a drunken mad elephant cub. So followed by hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of people, village to village, not asking anyone, give us food, give us shelter. He would, people would just follow behind Lord Nityananda, 1,000 people, 500 people, 10,000 people. He wouldn't ask anyone for anything. Sometimes they would fast for days because he's not coming to be a burden on anyone. He is coming as the flood of divine love. And so he would go in one direction and then go another. Sometimes he would go seven days in one direction, seven days back in the other direction. They would go in the rivers, they would climb in the trees, they would chant Hari Bolo, Hari Bolo, Gaur Hari Bol, Gaur Hari Bol. Sometimes they would arrive in a town where there was a wealthy devotee and he would sponsor a feast for everyone. And they would stop and have three, four day feast and festival. Lord Nityananda would sit on the bank of a river, Panihati, one famous place they had their congregational preaching. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. Raghunath Daska Swami's father sponsored a feast. People from all surrounding towns and cities would come there and they would all celebrate this feast. And to this day, this feast are going on at Panihati. This gone is arranging, right? This mission of Lord Nityananda is arranging. So Lord Nityananda said in the morning time, Bhaja Goranga, worship Goranga, Kaha Goranga, chant the name Goranga, Loho Goranga Namare, take the name of Goranga. Then he said, Jai Jana Goranga Bhaje, that person who worships Goranga, they are my life and soul. I offer myself to them. So chanting like this, Lord Nityananda in the ecstasy of divine love would fall on the ground. Eta bholi nityanando bhume gadi jaya sonara parvata jena dhula telotai. He looked like a golden mountain rolling in the dust. That Lord Nityananda who is carrying the worlds on his heads. Lord Nityananda is the potency. Mahavishnu, Sankarshan, Valaram, all the different Vishnu incarnations. They are all expansions of Lord Nityananda. That Lord Nityananda saying, if you chant Goranga, I offer myself to you. Calling out like this, he falls in the ground like a mountain falling and begins to roll in the dust like a golden mountain. Sonara Parabhata Jena Dhula Te Rotai, rolling back and forth like a golden mountain. All the devotees are weeping and dancing in ecstasy. Heno Yava Tare Jar Ratina Janamilo Lochana Bole Se Papilo Aragelo. Such a person who does not have love for Lord Nitananda, alas, their life is passing in vain. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings. Nadhiya Godrume Nityananda Mahajan Pati Achena Mahataji Vedakaran Bolo Nadhiya Godrume Nityananda Mahajan Pati Achena Mahataji Vedakaran O Shradhavana Janahe Shradhavana Jan Shradhavan Janahe Shradhavan Jan Pati Achena Mahataji Vedakaran Lord, Ch Nit Lord Chaitanya sent Lord Nityananda to do Namhatta programs. He said, make every home a temple. Why? People work so hard, build a temple, collect so much money, and then you have a priestly class. Are they going to be qualified or not? Are they going to exploit people or not? Better make every home a temple. 
Then all the congregation, all the homes, all the householders can together come and make a temple. First, make every home a temple. Then those same householders can organize and make a temple. This is not the sannyasi's duty. Renunciant's duty is to travel, spread love of God. Then you seed communities. This is our duty. We're seeding communities and we're nourishing communities. We're inspiring communities. And those communities, as every, you make 20 temples in 20 homes, then you make one temple that serves all those 20 temples. You understand? You make 20 temples before you make one temple. Every home becomes a temple. That means every body becomes a temple because every soul recognizes the body as the instrument of the service of God. And so that home becomes a temple, that body becomes a temple, and they go out and they preach in the spirit of Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur and Lord Chaitanya, and then home to home to home. 20 homes, 30 homes, temple. Our New York ashram is our academy, our retreat center, our festival center, where people from all the East Coast and from West Coast and from around the world can come and gather. But we're also seeding communities like we are here in the Carolinas now. We're seeding communities. And before you try to make a temple, try to make 20 temples. And you don't have to make 20 temples. You inspire 20 people to chant the name Chaitanya, to understand that Lord Chaitanya, what is the message of Lord Chaitanya? What is the message of Christ? Same message, love and devotion to God and love for each other. Lord Chaitanya said, honor all living beings. Jive Saman Dive Jani Krishna Adistan. All honor all living beings, know that God resides in their heart. And what did Christ teach? Love each other as I have loved you. Love each other as I have loved you. And he said that the essence of all the commandments is love thy God with all thy heart and love thy fellow man. So our guru in India said what to do? Have humility. Don't criticize others. And have great affection and respect for all juniors that come. People think juniors are not so great. No, everyone has dignity. Everyone is a human being. Everyone has great intelligence. Everyone is... A, you know, apex species on this earth. They have the highest potentiality to achieve divine love of God. You honor every human being. You don't judge according to external things. Judge according to the internal evolution of the spirit in this form, and you have great respect and honor. That is our condition. Great affection, respect, and honor for anyone who is slowing, showing the slightest interest. And it's not that everyone has to convert. Like Swami Prabhupada did. Oh, you are Bhakta John. Bhakta Jennifer. Bhakta Wendy. Right? Bhakta Julius. You don't have to convert. You have to say, I am a devotee of God, Bhakta. I am a devotee of God. Our Guru said, oh, even if people cannot give up meat, they can chant the holy name. Giving up meat helps you evolve in your consciousness. And it's considered a form of cruelty. Slaughter animals for your tongue. But even if you cannot give that up, you can chant the Maha Mantra. Swami Prabhupada said, Gurudev was giving a lecture in India, in Hindi. I listened to this. And he was speaking with, in Mathura, in his temple. And he said, we've never seen an Acharya like Swami Prabhupada in history. We've never seen an Acharya like Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in history. He said, mostly Acharyas want to find qualified people to serve and participate. They're looking for qualified people, righteous people, good people, not sinful, not taking this and that. And Swami Prabhupada's mood was, he said, if Gurudev said, he was telling me, because he was his friend. He said, in India, he would tell me, if I have to open a hostel where I, where I serve meat, I can personally serve meat if I can encourage people to chant one time the Maha Mantra, one time Gaur Hari. I will personally serve. He said, we've never seen acharyas like this. This is the mood of Lord Nityananda. He did not see you're qualified or not qualified. He would go to those people in society who were re re rejected, who were not honored, and he would lift them up. Therefore, this is Lord Chaitanya's mood. He said, Chandale Brahmane Kore Kalatare. That dog eater caste people and Brahmins would embrace each other. Before, Brahmins would take bath if their shadow was touched by someone in a lower class. 
There would be streets where people in a lower class could not walk because that's where the Brahmins walked. Because they're so attached to their ritual purity. They think if someone touches my shadow, I'll have to take bath. So they are not recognizing the divinity in the heart of man. And in this age, who is qualified? Tell me. This is the age of faults. Kaler Dorsan This is the age of faults. So we are not looking for a faultless person. But Kirtaniya Sadahari, Chaitanya Maharaj said, continuously chant the holy names. And if you chant the holy names, then this age becomes the golden age. Wherever the chanting the holy names are going on, that is a golden age. That is a pocket of, not Kali Yuga. That is the golden age. Kali Maharaj is present. Wherever the chanting of the holy name is not going on, Kali Maharaj becomes present. But if you are chanting the holy names and if you're not attached to four things, so this is another condition for a Nam Hatha. We are welcoming really anyone to be a Nam Hatha center. And we are honoring everyone who is a Nam Hatha center. That means anyone who is aligning with the mission of Lord Chaitanya, making their home a temple. That does not mean you lose private property. This is private property. Your body is your private property, but it's a temple for Krishna. Your home is private property, but it's a temple for Krishna. But you're saying, I'm offering my life, and my possessions, in the service of the Lord. This is the mood of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Manasa, my mind, Deha, my body, Geha, my home. Arpiyatua Pade Nanda Kishore, I'm offering to you, Krishna. Understand? Manasa, my mind, Deha, my body, Geha, my body, I'm offering to you, Lord Krishna. But what is the condition? to be at home center of the holy name, then Kali Maharaj should not be invited in at the same time. That means in our terms, Kali Maharaj is like, like a satanic influence, a mood of darkness. And what is that? Slaughtering of animals, taking of intoxication, eating of meat, intoxication, gambling, Illicit sex, gambling destroys the pillar of truth, honesty. Meat eating destroys the pillar of compassion, mercy. Intoxication disturbs or destroys austerity and illicit sex disturbs purity. So to be a home center, this mercy is for everyone, but to become an authorized center of Lord Nityananda, then we are servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not servant of Kali Maharaj. So this is another condition, okay? A condition to be a center of Lord Nityananda Prabhu is that we will not engage in the f destroying the four pillars of Dharma. There are four pillars holding up the temple of Dharma in this world. That is truth, purity, austerity, and mercy. And the four activities that destroy these four pillars Gambling destroys truth. Intoxication destroys austerity. Makes you ignorant, lazy, indolent. Killing of animals and taking of animal products destroys the pillar of mercy. And discipline and cl cleanliness. Oh, mercy. Cleanliness is destroyed by illicit sex. You lose all purity. There's many forms of illicit sex. There's many forms of gambling. There's many forms of intoxication. There's many forms of meat eating. It means any kind of violence. Violence towards others, right? That is called hingsa. So ahingsa, non-violence. Don't kill animals and don't act violently towards others. Okay? Truth. Untruth destroys truth. So live by truth. Live by your word of honor. Don't destroy truth. And don't take intoxication. There are many forms of intoxication. But there's also the intoxication of pride. So intoxication is also the intoxication of pride. Therefore, have humility, have respect for others. But we should uphold these four pillars of Dharma. That is one of our conditions, okay? We try to uphold the four pillars of Dharma by living in truth, living with mercy, living with austerity, living with purity. Austerity means effort. With clarity, focus on what you want to do. With purity, then you have clarity. 
and you can perform effort to go towards the worship of the supreme absolute truth in relation with absolute truth. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna. There's no guarantee, <laughs> but there's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. Dennis Mihak saying that they would welcome you in Slovakia. So you, I don't use social media, but you can be in touch. Message us, please, on our messages, and we have our assistant here who will respond. There's a ch chance that we'll open some Namhatta centers in Europe um, soon, because uh, you know, generally, if I travel to India, I can stop on the way and do some quick preaching, but. Time is very busy. So we are going from here, then we're going preaching in different towns and cities. We're going today, later on today, we're going to Asheville, North Carolina, we're spreading the holy name there. After a few days, we'll be going, we'll be traveling up in South Carolina, North Carolina, then we'll be back in New Jersey, start opening a Namhatta Center, then back in our ashram, then back in New York City, then going to Boston, then coming back. And we've been thinking about coming to Europe potentially. So please reach out and we'll see if we can come. But this mission is for everyone. This is a flood. We've seen, especially since the time of Bhakti Adanta Swami Prabhupada, this mission is spreading everywhere. It will continue spreading everywhere. And this is Lord Chaitanya's mission. This is Lord Nityananda's mission. Anyone who's interested and willing to participate in this mission, they receive the wealth of divine love in their life. Our mission is, right, to help people, serve people on their spiritual journey, to go from knowledge or wisdom to an actual experience. And what is that experience? That is the bliss of pure love the love for Krishna that awakens in your heart. But what is the best means to realize that love in your heart? What is the best means to realize that bliss in your heart? You must distribute it. Don't be a miser, don't be selfish. You chant the name, you distribute the name, following the path of Lord Nityananda. That is our Guru's instruction. Why is it said, Heno avatar rati najan mino, rochan bole se papi elo aragelo, a person is truly sinful and they're passing their life in vain, elo aragelo, like an animal, living useless, frivolous, material lives. Eating, maintaining, sleeping, burn, being born and dying again and again repeatedly, being born and then dying, being born and again, like a fly. Like a mouse, like a kitten, like a dog, like a tiger, like an elephant. The purpose of my life is to stay alive until I die and to try and be happy. What is the purpose of my life? To stay alive, but you're all gonna die? So how is the purpose of life staying alive? That's not the purpose of life. Purpose of life is while you're in this life, realize love of God, distribute love of God. That is the purpose of human life. Animals are trying to stay alive and yet they're still dying. Animals are always afraid of death. You see, certain they're either prey or predator and predators are, trying to eat others and prey is trying to not being eat, eaten by others and trying to extract some happiness from the world in the meantime, but they're all dying. The purpose of human life is to relish the bliss of pure love of God in this life. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, life after life to have devotion to the Lord. Life after life, please let me have devotion to the Lord. That is our mood, that is our prayer. To taste that bliss of pure love through our effort of devotion, but you should distribute this message. So Lord Chaitanya gave this mission to Lord Nityananda and he distributed this everywhere. But he focused, right? But through his agents, this is being distributed everywhere. And what did he say? Shraddhavana Jan, Shraddhavana Jan. O men of faith, O people of faith, I'm begging you, chant these names. Prabhu Agyai Bhai Mangye Bhiksha. On the order of Lord Chaitanya, he went and begged as a beggar. Bolo Krishna, chant the name of Krishna. Bhaja Krishna, chant the name of Krishna. Koro Krishna Shiksha, and give Krishna's teachings. And he also said, Bhaja Goranga, Kaha Goranga, Loho Goranga. So Krishna is Chaitanya. Therefore, in this age, what is our headquarters? Mayapur. Our headquarters of our mission is Mayapur, the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya. Mayapur is our world headquarters. This is Swami Prabhupada's teachings. Our worldwide headquarters is Mayapur. Therefore, Swami Prabhupada, you see his Mayapur temple? This is the headquarters of our international faith. Mayapur Dham. Therefore, we're all following Mayapur. Everywhere we're going, we're remembering Lord Chaitanya, remembering Mayapur. Lord Nityananda said, for this mission to be successful, you cannot forget Lord Chaitanya. 
Don't forget Lord Chaitanya. He is the incarnation of this age. He's the incarnation of the holy name. He's the incarnation of pure mercy. He's the incarnation of Sri Radha and Krishna. He's the incarnation of pure love. Prem avatar, Nam avatar, Radha Krishna Juga avatar, the incarnation of the conjugal form of Sri Radha Krishna. So don't forget Lord Chaitanya. This is Lord Nityananda's teaching. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, go and chant Krishna's names. We said, oh Lord, you are Krishna. So we will take shelter of you. So Shraddhavan Jana, hey Shraddhavan Jana, oh you have faith, Bholo Krishna, Bhaja Krishna, Koro Krishna. Then what do you say? Oh, <clears throat> Aparada Shunya Hoi Loho Krishna Nam, Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Dhana Prana. Try to gradually come to a fenceless chanting. This is what awakens pure love of God. So we go through stages. In our mission statement, we're very clearly enunciating the different stages of spiritual growth. How you can go from a beginner devotee to an intermediate devotee to a fully realized lover of God, Uttam Bhagavat. And Lord Nityananda said, ultimately the best process is chanting the holy name, but come to offenseless chanting. And therefore in many of our books of our Goswamis, it describes as 10 different offenses. Madhuri Kadambini, the cloud bank of nectar, describes the different offenses. Haridas Thakur describes the different offenses. And gradually by chanting, these offenses will go away and love of God will manifest. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings, Aparada phale mama chitta bela vajrasama tua name nala bevikara hata sahaya hari tava nama dhuka kori bhara dhuke dhaki bhara bhar. Because of offenses, my heart has become as hard as a thunderbolt. So how to soften the heart and develop love of God? Hatas hoya hari. I raise my hands and I call out to you with great love. Please give me your mercy. May these offenses wash away from my heart. It is that sincerity of purpose, that pure love that will wash away all the offenses. And then we chant the names with love. So this is Lord Chaitanya's teaching, Lord Nityananda's teachings. Aparada sunya hoy lo krishnam. Then Krishna is my mother, Krishna is my father, Krishna is my heart and soul. What is the relationship between the soul and God? We've discussed this in many lectures. We're not going to go through it again now. But this is our message of Lord Nityananda, and we are trying to participate in this mission. As the early disciples of Christ preached everywhere, fearlessly, they were willing martyrs to the cause of Christ. No fear whatsoever. The Bhagavatam says, fear personified runs in fear of anyone who is chanting the holy name. We have no fear. Haridas Thakur is the teacher of the holy name. He said, you can cut my body into a thousand pieces, but you cannot stop me from chanting Krishna's names. Nothing will stand in the face of that indomitable will. That is the desire to serve Krishna. And I will continue chanting. With humility, by your grace, I will follow your instruction. Kirtaniya Sadahari, I will always chant the names of the Lord. So this is our mission. This is our, not our mission. This is our service to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission, Lord Nityananda Prabhu's mission, Sri Swami Prabhupada's mission, Arshila Gurudev's mission, and this is ultimately Krishna and Srimati Radhika's mission. But we should not sit idly. Gelo jedivas na sibeyar ebe Krishna kiyopai. That day that passes without chanting the names of Krishna and distributing the names of Krishna has gone in vain. It will not return. So we should make this life a glorious life in the service to the glory of Lord Chaitanya. And then this human life has become glorious. And we can follow the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, distributed by Lord Nityananda, distributed by Swami Prabhupada, who said, go back home, back to Godhead. In this life, have devotion to the Lord and a mood of life after life. But in this life, we should make this life successful by distributing this message every day. Oh, but I cannot leave my house. Any, anywhere you find online a kirtan, find online any discussion, any description of the glories of the Holy Name, any lecture and share it. Don't just share it to another devotee. Say, oh, dear friend, this is very inspiring to me. Check it out. Oh, I'm at my workplace. At your workplace, be blissful, be happy. Or anyhow, be in the mood of remembering Krishna and speaking about Krishna. We went to Washington, D.C. Jehovah Witnesses are passing out flyers right in front of the White House. Krishna devotees should also be distributing flyers right in front of the White House, right in front of every house. White, brown, red, black house, doesn't matter. 
but distribute these names of Krishna. This is the way to save the world, to bring the world to peace, to make people be happy. So this is our mission. This is Lord Chaitanya's mission. But it, why do we say it's our mission? Because we are also invited into this cause. And this is the best way to awaken love of God. Because Lord Nityananda's mercy will flood upon you. Imagine Lord Nityananda's flood of mercy is spreading everywhere. And he's seeing anyone is helping me in this flood of mercy. I give them Nityananda. I give myself to them. Okay. Think about this. Lord Nityananda said, Amare kiniya loho bolo gorahari. If you one time chant bolo gorahari, I give myself to you. So what about for those who are every day chanting gorahari and distributing the names of gorahari? Every day he's giving himself to you. And he is giving himself to you. That means he is giving eternal bliss to you. He's awakening eternal bliss within your heart. Oh, very soon. How? How soon? Very soon. What does it mean very soon? Kritibi Tachanat, very soon, second verse of Bhagavatam says, Sadhya Hridya Varudyate Kritibi Sushrushtabi Tachanat. Very soon, that pure love of God will awaken in your heart. What does that mean in this very life? This life means very soon. If not this life, next life. That is very soon because we have lived millions of lives like animals in this material existence. But in this life, as human beings, we'll take advantage of this boat which is the human form of life, by chanting the holy names, we'll go to the spiritual world. And we distribute this message so that this life is a glorious life in service. Do not sit idly. We should be restless. We should think our vacation is in the spiritual world. We are waiting for that vacation. Every day, chant the names. Every day is a vacation because every day is the... When you take shelter of Goranga as a servant of Lord Nityananda, then every day Lord Nityananda will shower his mercy and his potency of bliss upon you and you'll always be blissful. You'll never be sad. Lord Nityananda associates are never sad. They're never crying in separation. God is always in their heart. They're always experiencing meeting with the Lord in their heart. Meeting, and they're serving Lord Chaitanya, so they're always blissful. Anytime a devotee is serving their object of love, they are blissful. So we are serving Lord Chaitanya and therefore we are blissful because we are pleasing him. So this life becomes a glorious life. And the more you embrace it, the more you gain the fruit. And it doesn't require so much. People say, oh, but I'm working. Yes. So, our Arvinda Devi Dasi, very simply started a meetup group. And within like one, two days, 10 people are interested. And let's meet together and talk about Krishna. How difficult was it? You found interested people within one, two days by the wonders of the internet. Anyone who's interested in this, come gather together. Let's talk about Krishna. Okay, 10 people are interested. And our service is to travel to those places where other people are interested, where you are interested. If you are interested, then other people can become interested. If you're not interested, how is anyone going to become interested? So my service is to go where you're interested, where any devotee anywhere is interested in distributing this message, I can come and serve you. I will cook for you. I will clean your house for you. I will wash your clothes. I will put gas in your car. That is my service. My service is to serve the servants of Krishna. So anywhere there are devotees eager to distribute this message, I will go and I, my service is to serve you. And your service is to spread love of God through these holy names. So anywhere you are interested in distributing this, this is not a miserly mission. If you want to sit in your room, and absorb yourself only. Oh, I will just think of Radha Krishna. Selfish, enjoyer. I will lay in my bed and think of Radha Krishna. Enjoyer. Not in the mission of Lord Chaitanya. Not in the mission of Lord Nityananda. In your heart, always relish the pastimes of Radha Krishna and distribute the love of God through these holy names. Town and village, in every street, in every city, every devotee, everywhere, every day, to at least one person, Hare Krishna. People are very, you go to a gas station, people say, oh, good to see you. Good morning. Hare Krishna. Here's a flyer. And we get that. Yesterday we we're stopping, right? We stopped in line, Panera, you know, using the internet. Oh, what are you part of? Hare Krishna. Here's a flyer. People want to know. So we have to do this ourselves. Who are you? What are you about? That's why you dress like this. People say, why are you dressed in saffron robes? Because I'm a servant of the 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 devotees of the Lord. 
and I'm spreading the message of love of God by chanting the names of God. If you are not inspired, no one is inspired. So we'll quickly read about the resurrection of Christ, right? Because it's Easter Sunday. And we should take shelter of the Christian missionaries. And There's a difference though. Christ taught about love of God this is the, and mercy, not judgment and fear. So we are teaching about love of God and mercy, not judgment and fear of God. Love of God and mercy, not fear of God and judgment. So Lord Christ also taught the same message. Okay. All right, everybody's ready. We can do this really quick. Everywhere around the country, people are celebrating Easter Sunday. So we are also, Swami Prabhupada said, we are also Christians. Real Christians are also Christian devotees because God is one. Whether you call him Christ or Krishna, God is one. And our, our guru also said, people were asking, oh, I'm a Christian, but I'm also looking for a mantra to connect me closer with God, right? And I don't find it so much in different churches. I'm not inspired by different churches. And he said, any church or any temple is a place for God. And so you can go to any church or any temple and pray to God, right? So actually non-sectarian places, oh, there's no God here. Or it's open. It's just an empty building. No, it's better to go to a sectarian church or a sectarian temple and pray to your God because they have a real connection. We'll talk about this in a later class. Oh, there is no God and it's just a building and I worship you. You are my God. If they're not willing to tell you who their God is, then chances are they just worship themselves or worship other human beings, right? So if there are truly non-sectarian faith that's saying we worship the one God that is not us, we are not God. We worship God Almighty. Okay, I can worship God there. But there's many places where they say, I am the church of non-religion. Buddhism means no faith, no God. So that is not a temple of God. But any mosque, any temple, any church that is truly worshiping the one God, you can go there and pray to God and connect to God. And you call out his name and you pray to God there. So any church, any temple, right? That is worshiping, saying God is one, but God it, it can appear in any temple in any church because it is a home for God. It's a place where we're saying, we're all making our own home, but we're putting God at the center of this building, the center of this home. Okay. So everywhere around the country, people are doing that and people say, okay, go to the church, pray. It's hard to read now because there's so many things to talk about. So anyhow, today is the day of the resurrection of Christ. In the morning time, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb, tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen clothes, but folded up in a place by itself. So it was folded on the side. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed for as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. So they saw that Christ, they were thinking, has she been moved and laid somewhere else? but it had been said in the scripture that he would rise. And when they had asked Christ for a miracle, he told the story of Jonah. We're in the town, Joanna. <laughs> so maybe there's some connection. So the story of Jonah was in the, the womb of the whale for three days, right? So Christ said, I will show this. After three days, I will rise. But people were asking him for miracles. People ask gurus for miracles. The miracle is the transformation of your life and to taste love of God and to realize the nature of your soul 
and to enter the spiritual world. That is the miracle. So that is the miracle Christ came to give. That is the miracle Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda are coming to give. That is a miracle that's going on every day, spiritual transformation. So in our mission, we say from wisdom to spiritual experience, that is a miracle to taste the bliss of love of God. That is a miracle. That is the miracle we give you a actual process to go through, to experience that. And so your own life should be the miracle. Make your own life become a miracle. Otherwise, you're looking for an external miracle because you don't want to do any work yourself. So you follow the practice to make your own life a miracle. This is what Lord Christ also taught. How to live a godly life. So, next part says, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. So Mary Magdalene was the one who went in the morning and saw that the stone was removed and Christ was gone. And she went and told Simon Peter and the other disciple. They came running, saw he was gone, and the clothes that was covering his head was folded neatly. And they all discussed this and went back home, but she stayed there weeping. She had love. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. So she was weeping. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. She turned. Jesus said to her, O oh woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Dear sir, if you had carried him away, tell me, where have you laid him? And I will take him away. Jesus said to her, O oh Mary. So he revealed her, himself to her. So she turned around. First, she saw the two angels and asked them where Christ is. And they indicated, and she turned around, and she saw someone shrouded, so she could not directly make out. And she thought, perhaps he's a gardener. And she said, oh, in the morning time, did you see anyone take the body of Christ? And then he said, oh, Mary. And she could understand through his words. And so she said to him in Aramaic, in Aramaic, oh, Rabboni. That means, oh, teacher. She looked towards him and said, oh, teacher. Then Christ said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. Very important teaching. We don't have time to go into the depths of this teaching, but it's a very important Guru Tattva principle given here. Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. God is one and we are worshipers of God. We do not worship each other. We worship God, but we serve each other. There's a footnote here. And this is reminiscent to previous remarks. So Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples in great joy, I have seen the Lord. I have seen the Lord with great joy. He had said these things to her. People think, oh. So they were discussing now what really happened. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. So now the core group of disciples of Christ came together to discuss what had happened. And they were in fear. So as they were sitting discussing, some of them were debating whether or not Mary had spoken the truth or really seen the truth. So they spoke with themselves. And as they were speaking, Jesus Christ appeared. He stood among them and said, peace be with you. Imagine he appeared. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. So this is stigmata. They, sh they showed where he was pierced to be nailed to the cross. 
When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the son sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. You see? So he breathed, he showed them. Why did he show them this? Because he showed them that he himself, the Lamb of God, he accepted to be the sacrifice for everyone so that everyone's forgiven of their sins. This is the mood of the devotees. Prahlad Mars said the same thing. When the Lord appeared to Prahlad Mars, the Lord asked him, please ex- ask a boon from me. The Lord appeared to Prahlad, who was being tormented by his father. His father tried to kill him in many ways. The Lord appeared, killed the demon and said, please ask a boon. He said, may I go to hell for the sins of all others and may all others be liberated and go to you and be in the love of your company. And Lord, the Lord said, how can I do this? You, my dearest devotee, how can I send you to suffer for the sins of everyone? But he said, anyone who remembers our pastimes, our name, your name, they can be liberated. So Christ said, he showed him that he accepted this sacrifice. Haridas Thakur also. In 21 marketplaces, they beat him. And all the flesh of his body was leaving. He did not just say that you cannot take the holy names from me. He lived it. Right? Kande kande jadi jai deha pran tabu vadane amina chari harinam. You can cut my body into pieces, but I will not stop chanting the names of Krishna. The Muslim ruler said, chant the name Allah. He said, Allah, Krishna are one, but yet I am chanting the names of Krishna, not just the greatest, Allah, but the sweetest, the most beautiful, the all attractive, the Lord of love, the one supreme God who is calling all his devotees to that reality of love. So I'm chanting that name. You cannot take that from me. And they beat him in 21 marketplaces. The flesh was coming off his body. It was bones. He still had life. And the guards were praying to him, oh, we will be punished if you do not die. Our families will be killed if we cannot kill you. So he said, no problem. I will let my life heirs depart. And he showed like he was dead. Really, he had the mood. I will die. And they threw him in the river Ganga. He floated along the Ganga. And by the Lord's desire, he was completely rejuvenated and he came upon the banks of the Ganga and began to chant in ecstasy, Hari Bolo, Hari Bolo, Hari Bolo. The same Muslim rulers became astonished and said, he is a great saint. And they offered him respect and obeisance. So if you have real sincerity, that is, and real devotion, that is the, what is really valuable. So he breathed the Holy Spirit. And he said, receive that Holy Spirit. And if you forgive the sins of the any, they are forgiven. And if you withhold forgiveness, then it is withheld. So you should have this mood of compassion. Okay, one more page. It's very interesting, okay? Since it's Easter Sunday and we're starting our Nam Hat the Center, we're also praying to Christ. That may we, what is the meaning of Christ, right? That living Christ, Krishna, Divine love, divine consciousness, Chaitanya. We're praying to them that way may we serve you with humility. And therefore we pray to be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. I've said this, the last one. What does that mean? Because the sweetness of every succession is received by the one last in line. Each, each passing of it becomes more sweet. And I am connected to my guru and he is connected to his guru, to his guru, to his guru, all the way to the lotus feet of Shirada and Krishna. So I do not want to pass, bypass any of the servants of the Lord. I want to be the last in line because that is the sweetest position, because that is the position of my relationship. So what does it mean to be servant of the servant of the servant? I'll tell you. When you meet Vaishnavas, pure devotees of the Lord or any devotees, even Vardma Pradarsha Guru, someone who's guiding you towards this path, chant Hare Krishna, here's a book. You develop relationship with them. You develop appreciation for them. You want to be in their company. You want to be in their association. You want to serve them. Then they say, oh, but I am the servant of my teacher. And he says, I am the servant of my teacher, the servant of my teacher, the servant of my teacher. And you have relationship with your devotee. So then you say, oh, I want to be with you. He says, if you want to be with me, then like me, you have to be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. Understand? If you want relationship with me, you have to 
this desire, oh, I want to be with you, but you are the servant of the servant of the servant. That is in my heart. So then you have to also be the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. That is the most sweet position because with every passing, the mercy and the love becomes more and more condensed. So we'll finish reading this passage. Now Thomas, one of the 12, called the twin, who was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. See by the eyes of faith. Shraddhavan Jan, Shraddhavan Jan, O ye of faith. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. All right, so we'll read up to this portion, but we take shelter also of the teachings of Christ because he teach us, he taught us how to have devotion to God. And he said, hallowed be thy name, the name of God. And in our tradition, we specifically we pray to him that may I have Guru Bhakti, devotion to my Guru. Just as his disciples have devotion to Christ, Jesus, and then he is Christ, the son of God, and he can lead you to God. But he said, you should worship that which is ascended. Those realized pure masters you worship, but they are bringing you to God who is the most worshipable. Understand? And we pray to Christ today for Guru Bhakti. May I have devotion to my Guru, my Gurus, to Krishna, to the Supreme Lord, Chaitanya, to Lintananda Prabhu, but first to my Gurus. Because without devotion to Guru, you cannot have realization of the Lord. Therefore, in our scripture, it says, Yasya Deve Para Bhaktir Yata Deve Tathaguru Tasaite Katita Hyarta Prakashante Mahatmana. To that person who has equal devotion to Guru as to Krishna, all the revealed scriptures are manifest and divine love is manifest. So we pray for that devotion to Guru and we pray for the mood in the heart of Sri Guru to manifest in our heart. In this way, we celebrate today. Vanchakalpa Trivisakripa Sindhu Vacha, Patita Nang Pavanabhyo Vaishnavabhyo and Hare Krishna.